can sound escape when even light itself cannot escape. What you're actually listening to is vibrations. You gotta hang on that object to get those data. Today, we delve into the intriguing story of Voyager 1, an iconic space probe that has captivated our curiosity for over four decades. Join us as we explore how Voyager 1 encountered an enigmatic force in the depths of deep space. Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 exemplify the vital role of space probes in enhancing our understanding of the universe. These probes provide us with real-time data about the farthest regions of our solar system. Although direct investigation may not be possible for many years, the peculiar data being received from deep space by Voyager 1 has left NASA engineers perplexed. What are the anomalous messages emanating from deep space? Is there a cause for concern? Join us as we delve into the encounter of Voyager 1 with an unidentified force in the depths of space. For nearly 45 years, the Voyager missions have been instrumental in advancing space research, offering some of the earliest and most significant insights into the true state of our solar system. These NASA twin spacecraft serve as time capsules for their era, employing an 8-track tape recorder for data storage and possessing approximately 3 million times less memory than modern cell phones. They also transfer information at a speed that is approximately 38,000 times lower than a 5G internet connection. The trailblazers in space exploration operations still remain the Voyager probes. Our Sun and its planets navigate through the vast cosmic sea known as interstellar space, an unexplored realm that has yet to be investigated by any other spacecraft. To gain a more comprehensive understanding of our solar system and the dynamics between the aliosphere and interstellar space, scientists are combining data from initial emissions with observations gathered by the Voyager spacecraft. No other space vehicle has had the transformative impact on our comprehension of the Sun and its effects as these ones. Each Voyager spacecraft assumes the role of a representative for humankind, bearing a golden record containing musical recordings, salutations in diverse languages, depictions of ordinary life on our planet, and illustrations of fundamental scientific concepts. This compilation serves as a celestial communication encapsulated within a golden layer, akin to a message in a bottle. It acknowledges the fact that gold gradually erodes and deteriorates in the vastness of outer space. Experts have been astonished by the robustness and orientation of the magnetic field in interstellar space, which will preserve the data for over a billion years. This newfound information has sparked discussions about the shape and behavior of the aliosphere, the magnetic domain controlled by the Sun previously believed to resemble a comet, the aliosphere might actually be more spherical in shape. Moreover, scientists are investigating whether it expands and contracts with the appearance and disappearance of sunspots or remains relatively stable. During this study, the spacecraft has provided intriguing clues. Astronomers theorize that the interstellar medium emerges when the solar wind, a stream of charged particles emitted by the sun, ceases. The resulting plasma, or ionized gas, pushes against the cooler and denser interstellar plasma surrounding it, akin to a pebble in a flowing stream. This phenomenon can be compared to the tropopause, the upper boundary of Earth's troposphere, in the aliopause, which refers to the void created by the Sun in interstellar space. The heliosphere's distance from Earth remained a puzzle when the spacecraft was launched. Some speculated that the aliosphere could be located near Jupiter, as it is only five times farther from the Sun than Earth. As the spacecraft continued its outward journey, estimates of the heliosphere's distance increased. It was certain that the aliosphere wasn't located near Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, or Neptune. The precise location and time of Voyager's entry into interstellar space were unknown to everyone. 
Voyager began detecting signs of the aliosphere shortly after encountering Neptune in July 1992. The two Voyager missions detected powerful radio signals between 2 and 3 kHz. Some scientists believe that these radio waves were caused by six large solar flares that occurred over a year before their discovery. The plasma ejected during the flares eventually reached the aliopause, where it caused electrons to oscillate and emit radio waves, according to the researchers' findings. Despite being so faint that they could be mistaken for a vacuum on Earth, the local interstellar medium is significantly denser than the outer aliosphere. The distance of the aliosphere from the Sun was determined by calculating the estimated speed of the outward solar material and the time it took to reach the boundary. On average, the distance between the Sun and Earth is one astronomical unit, ranging from 116 to 177 astronomical units. On August 25, 2012, at a distance of 121.6 astronomical units, the aliosphere was observed. Voyager 1 completed its journey through the aliopause, and there were noticeable signs indicating its transition. The presence of high-energy solar wind particles gradually diminished, suggesting that the solar wind had been left behind. Additionally, Cosmic rays from outside the solar system, partially obstructed by the aliosphere, intensified following Voyager's passage. However, some researchers remain skeptical due to two specific issues. Firstly, Voyager 1's plasma instrument experienced a malfunction, preventing it from capturing the significant rise in particle density during its departure from the aliosphere and entry into interstellar space. Secondly, the expected change in the direction of the magnetic field beyond the aliosphere did not occur. The correlation between the magnetic fields inside and outside the aliosphere remains unexplained. The Sun played a crucial role in Voyager's achievements. In early 2012, solar storms began erupting, and the subsequent year, they affected the plasma surrounding Voyager 1. These solar events caused the plasma's electrons to oscillate, generating detectable radio waves. The frequencies of these radio waves indicated that Voyager had entered a significantly denser region. In 2018, Voyager 2 successfully crossed the aliopause on November 5th. This time, there were no doubts about the passage as the spacecraft's plasma instrument was operational, allowing it to monitor the increased particle density resulting from collisions with protons, electrons, and other charged particles. Also observe the temperature, which ranged between 30,000 and 50,000 Kelvin and was significantly higher than that of the surrounding interstellar medium. The plasma was likely compressed upon entering the aliosphere, which resulted in this occurrence. Similar to Voyager 1, the spacecraft witnessed a decline in the solar wind and an increase in the presence of cosmic rays from outside the solar system. However, unlike previous expectations, the magnetic field did not undergo a reversal, further confirming the findings from six years ago were not an anomaly. The relatively close distances suggest that the aliopause is stronger than previously believed. Both Voyager 1 and Voyager 2 are still journeying away from the aliosphere, regardless of its exact shape. Due to the fact that spacecraft signals travel at the speed of light, it will take over 22 hours for their transmissions to reach us. Once Pioneer 10 eventually becomes silent in late 2023, Voyager 2 will have surpassed it, covering a distance of 129 astronomical units, and will become the second farthest spacecraft ever from Earth. The two Voyager missions are traveling in opposite directions and are farther away from Earth than any other spacecraft. 
scientists have reported that Voyager 1 captured a humming sound associated with waves detected in vast quantities of gas present in the nearly empty space between stars. As the plutonium powering the Voyagers decays and produces less heat, the spacecraft experience a decrease in power. To compensate for this, NASA's team has disabled various systems, including some that were initially considered essential. Among these systems are heaters that protect the functioning instruments from the extreme cold of space. The space agency confirmed that all five devices, whose heaters have been turned off since 2019, are still operational. It is remarkable how the Voyager spacecraft managed to continue functioning in temperatures well below. The purpose behind their creation continues to perplex researchers at NASA. The Attitude Articulation and Control System AACS, of the probe also encountered a malfunction the previous year. This mechanism ensures that the probe's antennas are always directed towards Earth. Until that point, the probe had been performing flawlessly without any known disruptions. However, an onboard computer, which had ceased functioning years earlier, caused confusion as the probe began transmitting inaccurate telemetry data, thereby corrupting the correct information. Consequently, the probe lost its orbital location. This incident raises the question of whether it is time to retire one of NASA's oldest and farthest traveling space probes, Voyager. Although NASA specialists recently resolved the issue by instructing the system to revert to its previous computer, the government claims that this error will not impact the mission's long-term viability. Nevertheless, several scientists have already begun exploring the possibility of developing replacements for Voyager. The duration for which these two spacecraft will remain operational remains uncertain. To prevent the fuel that keeps their antennas pointed towards Earth from freezing, they must be kept heated. Voyager relies on plutonium to generate heat, but as it decays, it produces progressively less energy each year. Thank you for watching another episode.